what's up fire riders welcome back to my youtube channel long time no see but i'm back again for like the fifth or sixth 17th 19th 28th 100 time but on this video it's gonna be an updated q a and by now y'all know i pop up and i pop out so i'm not gonna keep apologizing for stuff that i'm gonna keep on doing so yeah we're gonna get right into this video so i have about 27 questions that y'all put on Instagram. You know, you do the little ask me a question poll on Instagram. I had did that. And I have 27 questions. So I don't know if I'm gonna be answering all of them, but this will be my first time opening up to Instagram, opening up to YouTube, really opening up to my supporters because y'all know I keep everything private. And a lot of this stuff I don't talk about or have not talked about or tell my side and how I feel. So yeah, we're gonna get right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Okay, so question number one is, how was your relationship? What happened between you and your ex? This is really two questions, but one person answered it, asked this in like one second, so I'm gonna answer it in one second. Um, my relationship is fine. Of course, every relationship has its ups and downs. It's not perfect, but we've been together over two years and we're still going strong. What happened between you and your ex? Um, I really don't have no answer for that because it was just like, for y'all that do know that was following me like way before um, I got in this new relationship, me and my ex was living together. And y'all know me and him been knowing each other and we've been on and off since we was like 14 to 15 years old. So after I had Clover, he had just got out of jail. Me and my ex had got together when I was pregnant. I probably was like seven months pregnant when me and him got back together. He had his own place. He had his own everything, really. So he ended up going to jail. He was in jail for like two months. And he ended up getting out when Clover was like a week old. So we ended up getting our own place together. And we was together for a whole year. He was on house arrest the entire time. He couldn't go nowhere, couldn't check the mailbox, couldn't do nothing. So we stayed together the whole time. And then I asked him, what if we move out of town? Would they let you have hustlers? You think they'll let you have hustlers? His PO agreed on letting him moving out and we had moved like three hours away from Memphis, but we were still in Tennessee. We just moved like three hours away from Memphis and they let him get out of Y'all, when I tell y'all this man stayed with me for like two, he stayed with me like two weeks and then he went out of town with his friend. That's cool. He had been locked down for a whole year plus the two months that he was locked up. So I ain't had no problem with, you know what I'm saying? Go out and have your fun, but when he seen that I want to stun him no more, like I had stopped answering the phone calls, I stopped responding. He was he asked me did I want to fly to LA to come see him or whatever, and we talk about our relationship and if we gonna stay together or what we gonna do. So I ended up flying to LA. Mind you, I was already talking to the dude that I'm with right now. So I was like, shit, I'm gonna fly to LA to you know what Sheila say? I'm going up this man to save my marriage. <sighs> I don't know what this is all about. But I'm going up this mountain to save my marriage. I was flying to LA to go save my relationship, whatever. We're gonna talk about it and fix it. Cause that was my man, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I went to LA. Um, I think like the second night he had came to my room. I had went through his phone and I found everything that I need that I already knew was going on, but me going through his phone, like, helped me let go of him. So after that, I booked my flight back home. I had put him at the hotel, and that was it. I had blocked him, and that was it. So yeah, that's what happened with me and my ex, long story short. He, um, he basically left me for that, and I felt like I got used because I really took care of him, like, he was my child. He was telling me rent free, I ain't paying no bills. I was paying all the bills. I bought him clothes, shoes. Like, that was my dude. I helped him because before he went to jail, he had his own, like, I was staying in his apartment. He had his own car, like, he had his own. I ain't just, I just wasn't with no boom. He just was at his lowest, and I was there with him. Like, I was, I was there to help him. So that's what happened. And I was sick and fucked up about that, like, I was heartbroken. Like, my, I was fucked up about that nigga, like. So yeah, that's what happened between me and my ex. Question number two is something that I've never talked about, and we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about a lot of stuff that I ain't never talked about to y'all. So, number two is how is co-parenting? Co-parenting is wonderful, 10 out of 10. Let me shut the fuck up, but co-parenting is great. It's like, it's the best thing ever. Me and my baby daddy is like, 
it's so weird because it's like we like he my brother like this gang i don't know how to explain it but we cool as fuck like we can have multiple conversations without arguing we cool as hell and i love it i love our friendship i love our relationship we good especially for clover co-parenting is great it's best it, this the best it's been since we was going together like co-parenting is phenomenal question number three is why did you and Emily break up me and bryson broke up because um it really started when we had the password to teach each other phones we had the password to each other instagram snap like we had each other passwords to everything money y'all we used to be together 24 7 like so we had nothing to hide one day we had went to the gas station and like i said we got just the password i had left my phone in the car because i had nothing to hide from him and he seen me and my ex from high school had a like three word conversation my ex texted me and was like on snapchat and was like what's up you been straight i said yeah what about you he was like i've been good it was some quick shit like that and that was it y'all bryson tweaked the fuck out about that shit so after that it was like going down here from then but like i said i didn't have shit to have from him and he didn't have shit to have from me so we were just i don't know and me and my ex from high school had been broke up for like two years and it was just nothing like we wasn't talking or nothing he had just checked up on me and that was it like we ain't break up our bad terms he was just checking up on me i didn't think nothing of it he ain't think nothing of it bryson just took it and ran with it so after that it just started going downhill so we had like talked about it whatever and kind of got over it but you could tell like when somebody not over something and they keep bringing it up or they acting different towards you it was some shit like that it had got really toxic we were just like arguing too much and shit. so i had went back home i stayed in memphis and he was out of town and i don't know if this was this was after I felt that I was pregnant. Like he knew I was pregnant and we was both in Memphis and he was like, he wanted to go to Atlanta to clear his head or take a little trip to clear his head. Some bullshit ass excuse that he had going on. So he was in Atlanta. Some had told me to call him. I called him, y'all. No answer. I faced on him, no answer. Mind you, Bryson used to be on the phone with me while he was at the studio or I'd be with him in the studio. Like him being in the studio and talking to me was never no problem. So he wasn't answering the phone. I knew I ripped something was wrong. He sent me a picture of like the engineering part where like the engineers like do that little shit at. He sent me a picture of that like while he was in the studio. And he was like, I'm at the studio. I'm gonna call you when I leave. You've been at the studio. It's never no problem. So I go on Instagram and go to this whole page that I feel like he was with. Why this bitch post the same shit that he sent me like they in the same room type shit so i had put two and two together bitch i'm like you went to atlanta with this bitch and mind you this hoe she's a rapper i'm not gonna say no bitch name because it's no tea no pressure but this hoe was posting me on her instagram calling me sis all this bullshit like whole time this hoe was plotting on to take my nigga they ain't end up going together no shit like that but it's still the fact like you know what i'm saying like bitch you got me on your page calling me sis you seen me in person like you met me bitch like bitch knew that was my nigga so ho, you out of town my nigga it was just some two-faced shit like i don't fuck with fake shit so i went on this top page on her story she posted the same like you know how you put two and two together when somebody go out of town together and they be in the same place same time you know what i'm saying y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about but yeah i text him tweaking the fuck out but after that it was over like like I said, just like with my ex, shit be going downhill, but you don't be trying to leave your nigga, you know what I'm saying? Y'all been together so long, you be trying to fix your relationship. So, that was the end of me and Bryson. Like, after that, it was like hell and fuck no, because we tripped playing in my face. But yeah, after that, that was really like the end. We were still trying to work it out, but it was just over with. I'm sorry if I'm talking too fast. It's like I'm trying to not prolong this video, because I know it's going to be super duper long. Question number four, will you let your daughter meet Chosen? It's a lot of these questions on here that I think I know who is honestly asking me weird, messy shit, but I'm gonna answer them because like I said, I've never spoke on none of this stuff. It's been like almost five years and I've never spoke on anything pertaining to my baby daddy. But I feel like I can now because it's my life and me and him cool now. So it's like, I can speak on it and I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes or be disrespectful or messy or none of that. Um, I'm probably like the only one that he's been with that I ain't never spoke on him publicly since we've been broken up. Well, really since we've been together. 
um clover has already met her brother chosen she's already met him um i don't know what like why wouldn't i let her meet her brother it's her brother it's her sibling i would never keep my baby around away from her sibling because me and my siblings is like super close and family is everything i'm not no bitter bitch like why you know what i'm saying why would i not let her meet her baby brother but she's already met him question number five why you cheated on chopper and tried to keep him away from his child first of all i never cheated on him never cheated on him if anything he cheated on me i never cheated on bryson like i just told y'all no i shouldn't have not no i shouldn't have been texting my ex but i didn't think anything of it because i was not talking to him like i hadn't talked to my ex in like two years so with him just checking on me that's all it was and that was literally the end of the conversation we wasn't like the conversation didn't keep going after he said he was good and i said i was good that was literally the end of it um and i didn't try to keep him away from his child some shit went on y'all seen both of us talk about that on the internet um i'm not gonna bring that back up but a lot of y'all know what happened already i didn't purposely keep him away from clover like he did some shit and that's just what it was it wasn't my choice number six how is life treating you right now life is great life is amazing i cannot complain god is so good to me and my family i just hit well i've passed 800 hours in cosmetology school whoop, whoop. that means i am past the halfway mark of finally getting closer and closer and closer and closer to my cosmetology license but my skincare line is doing great. Make sure you guys go shop. I'm gonna put the link below. And yeah, life has been great. Question number seven, do you want more kids? Yes, I want more kids, but I don't want another baby daddy, if that makes sense. I feel like if I do give have another kid, I wanna be married. I wanna be settled down and I know like, this is where my life is gonna be. I learned my lesson the first time. I don't be seeing how folks be constantly having more kids and more kids and more kids and but i'm not here to judge it's just my mind and how i think i would love to have another kid but if i don't have another kid by the time cover five or six then i'm not having no more and that's just dead on it question number eight is any co-parenting tips i would just say let the hurt go let the anger go let all that build up just let it go y'all i was mad at my baby daddy for 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I was mad at my baby daddy for four whole years. Like, I ain't gonna lie, we tried to get cool and we'll be cool for like two weeks and then something happened or somebody will be trying to be in our business and we'll be right back into it. But it took me four long years to actually have a sit down with my baby daddy and tell him that I no longer hate you. Um, Like, I want us to be on one accord for our daughter like it took me four whole years to just i don't know what came over me it was just like i don't know what it was i really don't know what to say or how to tell somebody else to co-parent but to just let the anger go like stop letting people tell you how to be a parent and just stop letting people come in between you and your child's other parent you know what i'm saying like just try to have a sit down we both talked for a long time um we both apologized and we both communicated and we both acknowledged where we was wrong at. So ever since then, we've been cool as fuck. Like we can call each other whenever and text each other whenever. Um, we can see each other and shit don't be awkward or I don't know. I just feel like both parties have to be mature. I just say it like. It can't just be one-sided. Like, you have to accept where you was wrong and your baby dad or your baby mom got to accept where he or she was wrong. So, I really, I can't speak on everybody else's perspective because people's situations might be worse than mine or my situation might have been worse than yours. But it's like, I don't know. You just got to just have a face-to-face, -face, a one-on-one -on -one without nobody else being in your ear to see. Like, it takes baby steps because like i said i was i hated my baby daddy guts for a whole four years so like i said it takes time we never let nothing get in we never let our beef get in the middle of clover like clover was still going with her daddy and still coming with me like we both got our set times question number nine how are you doing mentally and are you doing vlogmas this year right now i'm doing great mentally um everything is going perfect right now 
like I said, I can't complain. Um, and no, I'm not doing vlogmas this year. It's already, I should never even answer that. This, this question poll was from like last month, I think, from November the 13th. So it's definitely too late to be doing vlogmas. Question number 10 is about some bath and body works that I had posted on my Instagram. They asked me what all I got. Um, I got the strawberry pound cake body spray. I got two of those. I got uh, Among the Clouds body spray, Among the Clouds lotion, like the body cream lotion. And I got Wild Sand lotion. I got a vanilla bean lotion. And I think that was it. Question number 11. Do you still have the tattoo of your kid's dad? Yes, I still have the tattoo. I've been trying to get it up for the past four years. Nobody wants to cover it up. Um, the solution is going to be for me to get it lasered off. Because it's a big tattoo. And I don't want nobody fucking my back up. So I'm not going to no bullshit ass tattoos. Y'all see my tattoos. Like, I don't play by my tattoos. I'm not, I'm not going to just rush and get anything. But I've been trying to get it covered up for the past four years. I've tried... Arizona, Houston, Dallas. Literally, I've tried everywhere to the best artists. This one man told me 6,000 a session, and he told me it was going to take like eight sessions to complete it. And I told him, okay, that I was willing to pay that. And he stopped responding. So I think it's just some of these artists are insecure and they just don't want to fuck my back up. And I like the honesty. Some of them are just refusing. Like, it's this one man, he only specialized in cover ups, and he basically like refused. He was like, your cover-up wasn't chosen or some bullshit he said. Like, so, I'm not tripping about it because it's on my back. Like, I wear my hair long anyways. You can't even see it unless I want you to see it. Why are you being messy? Question number 12. Y'all are so messy. Question number 12. Would you ever get back with any of um, I don't think that's a appropriate question for me to be answering because I'm in a relationship and whether my answer is yes or no, it wouldn't matter anyways because like I said, I'm in a relationship, but yeah. Question number 13, how is work life and mom life? Uh, work life is good. I just sit at home and work off my iPad or my phone. And mom life is amazing. I love being a mom. I love having the responsibility of somebody else that's like a mini me. It's like I'm reliving my childhood all over again. Watching my baby grow up. I love being a mom. I love motherhood. Bitch, I'm a mother. I know like, it do get really tiring and overwhelming, but I was built for this shit. And I can't fail at it. I'm somebody mama. I can't fail at life. I can't fail at being a mom. Like, it's not an option. It's it's not an option at all. I got to do this shit. Like, I got to do this shit for me and my kid. And I'm just not doing it for myself. Like, I have a whole tiny human being that needs me, that needs her mama. Like, so, I don't have a choice. Question number 14 is, where do you see yourself in five years? In five years, I see myself with my cosmetics in stores. I want my cosmetics to be on the TV. I want to have commercials. Um, I see myself owning at least two hair salons. I see myself traveling the world. I see myself with another kid. I see myself married or possibly engaged. I see myself in a big house. I see nothing but good shit, like a bad bitch. A boss bad bitch. A boss ass mom bad bitch. Yeah. Five years though, that's where I see myself. Question number 15. How have you grown since being a mom? I have matured from like zero to 500%. If you know the old me, bitch, you know I get active. I react without thinking. I used to be on one like for real i'm not like that no more like it take a lot for me to get to this point like way slower than it used to because at first i used to just pop off it used to be so bad y'all i used to stay in some shit. um now i'm more calm 
like I handle things way different. I'm more responsible. I'm just, I'm a better me. Like Clover made me a better person, a way better person, a way more mature person. I'm more patient. Um, I'm not wild like I used to be. I'm just a better Mariah. And then I don't know if that came with the age thing too or what, because I got pregnant when I was 19. I had my baby when I was 20. So when I had my, when I got pregnant, really when I had Clover, I got my first apartment. I had got a foreign, which I was popping shit. Like Clover made me a better person. Like she made me want to do grown woman shit. And ever since then, bitch, I've been on my shit. Even before I got pregnant, I was on my shit, but it's still like, I'm a real grown woman, like real grown woman. It ain't no kid shit in me, point blank, period. I handle big business, bitch. 16, once again, I feel like I know who's asking me these messy ass questions because it was a fake page, constantly asking me the same shit about the same person, about the same situation. Like it's super weird. I really wish y'all would grow the fuck up. Ask me shit off y'all real page. But we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna answer these anyways, cause I ain't no pussy ass hoe. Sixteen. How do you feel about Clover having a stepbrother? I don't know if you meant. How do I feel about Clover having a brother? I don't feel no type of way. Why would I feel a type of way? Y'all be being messy, acting like this man had a kid on me or something. We've been broken up for four or five years before he even had another child. They don't have nothing to do with me at all. I don't care about what my baby daddy got going on. I don't care about. Him being with other women. I don't care, y'all. It's been almost five years. It's been since December 2019. You do the math. It's been like four or five years. Like, come on now. Why would I care about him having a kid? I actually love that my baby have a sibling because she probably not going to get one out of me no time soon. But, yeah, Clover loves her little brother. Like, there's nothing to speak on when it comes to children. What what did you expect me to say? Why would I feel some type of way about that, y'all? Like, come on now. It's not like me and him in a relationship. It's not like me and him was in a relationship. Like, recently, what's T? I think we have another messy question following that messy question. Question number 17. Feelings about Marissa. Why would I have feelings about her? Why would I feel any type of way about her? She ain't never disrespected me. We ain't never had, it's no feelings. Like, what do y'all want, what do y'all want me to say? They don't have nothing to do with me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. It's, it's literally nothing. Y'all try to make everything seem like something. Like I said, long as everybody stay in their lane, stay in their place, it won't be nothing. Why would there be an issue? I'm not with him. She's not with him. Me and Bryce and I in a relationship. Her and Bryce and I in a relationship. So it being a problem, we've grown as fuck. It just would not make sense. It wouldn't make sense for there to be an issue. As long as everybody stay in their place. There's that. Question number 18, do you have a skincare? Yes, I have a skincare. I've been having a skincare line since... Like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. Um, yeah, I started my skincare in like 2020, 2021-ish. I can't really remember. I think it was 2020 though. But yeah. Question number 19. The biggest lesson you've learned this year. The biggest lesson that I've learned this year is to... Um, I was going to say stay to myself, but I've been like that my entire life. Um, biggest lesson I've learned is to not think so highly of somebody. Unless they show you, you know what I'm saying? Don't just I'll re be thinking, oh, this person I never do this or this person got my back with this or just don't ever think highly of somebody because you will always be disappointed. That's not, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's just my perspective, but I don't, I no longer hold people on this high pedestal because I always get let down in the end. Like no matter how good of a person is to me from the time I met them until years later and then i end up getting disappointed so i guess that'll be my biggest lesson i've learned um another lesson i've learned is to stop procrastinating i need to stop procrastinating and just do and stop doubting myself 
Doubting myself is a big blessing I learned this year. How about this? Here's another question from the fake page. I see you watching. Question number 20. Since NLE sees his daughter, do y'all get along or mess around? Uh, I already answered the first part. Yes, we do get along. And no, we do not mess around. Question number 21. How did you start a hair company and what are some good tips to give? Um, I started my hair company because I was on the road with my baby daddy for months and months and months and months and months. And I was telling him, like, I'm going to go back home because I feel like I'm not doing nothing but being under you. And I've always been a hustler and a go-getter. Like, I've always had my own money or whatever. Doing my own thing. I've never been up under no nigga, you know what I'm saying, without making no money or whatever. So I told him I want to go back home, you know, and do my own thing because I was grown when I met him. I ain't going to say, like, grown, grown. But I was like 18, 19. So, you know what I'm saying? I had been working for myself and been having a job or whatever. So I told him, if I'm, I'm finna go home because I want to make money, you know what I'm saying? I want to do what I want to do. And he was like, what you want to do? I'll help you or whatever it is. I want you to unroll me. So he was basically saying like, whatever it was that I wanted to do, he was going to help me do it because he wanted me to be unrolled him. And y'all can ask him that. Like, this shit is no cap. Like, he was willing to help me start my own business. Like, Willing to make me be my own boss while being up under him at the same time. It was the sweetest thing. I really think it was because he went through my phone and I was telling my friends that I wanted to, you know, go make my own money or whatever. I feel like I wasn't making no money with him. And it's not that I didn't want, I want to say I wanted to break up. It was just, y'all know what I'm trying to say. So he was like, find out what I want to do, whatever. So my first idea was I wanted to sell hair. So he was like, okay, well, find where you want to get the hair from. Long story short, he paid for my inventory. He paid for my inventory for my um, hair company. I've never denied that. Um, he started off my hair my hair business, like me selling hair. But I didn't even start selling the hair until like two or three years later. Like we was already broken up and stuff. So I didn't even jumpstart my business. I didn't even make a website or none of that shit until like years later. But yeah, that's how I started off my hairline. Good tips to give is don't compare yourself to other brands. Don't try to compare what they got going on and what you got going on. Y'all are two different people, two different brands. It's two different things. Don't ever try to compare yourself to another hair company or another skincare line or another person, another woman. You know what I'm saying? Don't compare yourself. Like That's, that's one of my good tips for selling hair. Um, Always test out your hair, like wear your hair from your vendor or wherever you get your hair from. Wear it, wash it, color it, dye it. You don't want to just jump off the porch selling something that you don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? Because there are customers that lie and say like bad stuff about your hair and whole time it don't be nothing wrong with it. They just be going like refund after they already wore their hair. So it's just like test out your own products and your own inventory before you launch your hairline make sure you're wearing your own products and you're letting your friends and family try out your hair vendors or whatever before you you know what i'm saying launch your hairline another question another messy question from the fake page question number 22 do you have a relationship with any of the other baby mama no i do not have a relationship with her i don't feel the need to have a relationship with her right now especially because um her son is so young like he can't He's still like a couple months old. He can't really do anything pertaining to Clover or whatever. I don't feel the need to have a relationship with her because once again, me and Bryson is not together and her and Bryson is not together. So I wouldn't be around her child and she more than likely wouldn't be around mine unless it's pertaining to Chosen. Unless it's pertaining to their kid, you know what I'm saying? So I don't feel the need to have a relationship with her. Like I said before, as long as everybody stay in a place then we'll be good. We're good. Like, I don't I don't have no problem with her. It's y'all, y'all try to make it a problem. Y'all try to make it an issue. I don't have anything bad to say about her. I don't, I don't know her. So it's just like, what, what would we have a relationship about? The only thing we have in common is our baby daddy. And I was with him almost five years ago and she was with him recently. So it's like, it's nothing for us to have a relationship about. I mean, I see if we could have a relationship, like, when her son gets older and, you know, we could have them play dates or whatever, but 
that's what Bryson is for. Like that's his job and his responsibility to make sure his kids have a relationship. They don't, that's not my responsibility and that's not my job to do or, you know, I'm not going to go out of my way to make sure they have a relationship. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. I just don't feel like, I don't know. I don't have no issue with her. Like, I didn't, we'd have been around each other before. We kind of met in person, kind of, but it's just, I'm not going to say it's awkward. It's just, it's nothing there. It's no point of us having a relationship right now. That's the daddy job. That's his job. Those are his two kids. My, my baby is who I'm worried about. Question number 23. Does NLE support your daughter like a father should? Um, yes, he does. But y'all know his occupation have him out of town and on the road a lot. So, But he does what he can. And I respect him for that. Like, he does a great job with his daughter. Um, he makes time for her. Bryson is a great dad. Like, I, I'll give him that if I don't give him anything. Um, he's a great dad. He's matured a whole, a whole lot. Um, and you know, he's still learning as he go, but he's a great dad. You know, we're all still learning. Nobody is a perfect parent. We just try to be perfect, but yeah, he supports Clover like a father should. I guess that's what y'all saying. They have a great relationship. Clover loves her dad. I love their relationship. I love seeing them together and seeing them on the phone together, seeing them play. They act just like, it's so fucking crazy. Like they're like the same person. Question number 24. When was the last time you went chop ahead to sit down? I don't remember when this was, but I know it was hot outside. So it was like September, August. It probably was before then. It was earlier this year. Probably like, it's, it was between July and now. But we had our first sit down like a few months ago. Like I told y'all, I told him that I no longer hated him. And I was ready for us to let everything go. We both apologized and we talked about a lot of stuff. But that conversation got cut short because somebody interrupted us. But we're not going to get into that. But yeah, we we that day we just apologized for everything and you know we talked about what we was gonna do moving forward from that day. And then the second time we had to sit down, it was it wasn't planned. Like I was meeting him so he could get clover and then we just end up end up talking outside for like two hours and we talked about so much shit like shit we ain't talked about in four or five years. Like we talked about literally everything. We caught up with each other. Um we just talked about a lot of shit, like, and I feel like us talking made our bond strong. Like, it made us get back cool or whatever. So, that, like I said, having to sit down with your partner or your baby father, baby mama, is a good thing. Like, you might not want to. I would just say do it when you're ready because if you do it, I feel like you'll be trying to force it. And then you're going to be expecting something out of it. And then it's just going to be a whole bunch of controversy. So, like I said, I feel like everybody should have a sit down. Especially when you beefing, especially when you beefing with your baby mama or your baby daddy, like real bad, like to the point where you hate to hear their name. I used to hate hearing Bryson's name. I used to hate hearing his songs. I used to hate when people ask me, you in any baby mama? Like I used to fucking hate that shit. But now it's just like, I have no feelings towards it. Like I still be saying no when y'all ask me and my his baby mama, but it's still like, I don't feel no type of way. I don't feel no type of way when I see like our old pictures on Instagram and nothing like that. Like we cool as fuck. Like it's nothing. It's no pressure, no smoke, no nothing. Like we love each other as baby mama, baby daddy, but it's it's not nothing past that for real. But yeah, I feel like it's very important for the baby mama and the baby daddy to have a good relationship, a respectful like friendship relationship, like where there's no boundaries getting crossed. And especially when it's like if he was in a relationship or if I'm in a relationship, we both respect it from each other. But it's just like me and him is like like best friends we talk i ain't gonna say we like best friends but we are good friends at the end of the day like you know you can call me whenever and i know i can call him whenever when i need to talk or need anything regardless if it's for me or my daughter like bryson be there for sure question number 25 where did you and your man meet we met on instagram like i told y'all when me and my ex was breaking up i was trying to uh I ain't gonna say I was trying to find another nigga, but you know what I'm saying? I just got a relationship. I went following niggas and shit. Like, y'all know how that shit go. Like, when y'all see somebody attractive, y'all go follow them. And then they follow you back. And then they message you or you message them. That's how, that's how it went. I followed him and he followed me back. And then he DM'd me. And then we started talking from, from right then and there. We was 
texting every day, talking all day, being on FaceTime all day, falling asleep on the phone all day, all night. And at this point, I was staying three and a half hours away from him. So we was really like in a long distance relationship when we first started talking. And then I started coming to Memphis to see him. I ended up moving back home and I started spending the night with him. He started spending the night with me. And it, that's just how it went. Like, we kicked shit off real quick. Question number 26 from the fake page, once again. Bitch, you're weird, ho. Say that shit with your chest. Like, stop fucking being weird, bitch. Do you and Marissa ever talk? Would you introduce y'all kids to each other? No, we don't ever talk. Um, Like I said, I've seen her in person. We didn't meet intentionally. She was just there. Like, we spoke or whatever. But it wasn't like, no meeting type shit. Like, um, my first time talking to her was on the phone. Clover was with her. And Clover's so fucking fr friendly. Like, she'll just put anybody in the camera and be like, say hey, say hey. So that's how we end up speaking. She spoke to me and I spoke back. That was it. And then a couple months later, I seen her. Um, I seen her, whatever. We we didn't, we didn't met, but it was like, that was it. And Clover and her brother has already met. They've been around each other multiple occasions, multiple times. Like, that's her brother. What do y'all expect her to not be around her brother? Her dad gets her a lot. And I'm sure when he get her, he be having his son. And you know what I'm saying? The baby is so young, I'm pretty sure when he get his son, she be there too. So it's like, she's met her brother. Like, why do y'all think she's not going to meet her brother? I wouldn't I wouldn't even want my daughter to not know her sibling. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure Bryson is like, I'm pretty sure he go, he'll go out his way to make sure his kids meet. Like, what the fuck be wrong with y'all? But that wraps up my video, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this is my first time opening up to the public. Um, this is my first time speaking out about my baby daddy since the breakup, since the huge breakup fight that we had on the internet. It was so embarrassing from 2019. Um, y'all know I don't publicly talk about my baby daddy. I don't speak on him. Nothing. Like, y'all know I don't speak on motherfuckers unless I get spoke on or I don't be in messy shit. Like, I don't talk about shit. Everything about me is private. Um, it's shit that y'all been wanting to know and i never spoke on it's shit that y'all been asking me for the past four five years that i never spoke on i feel like we are all in a good space right now we good like this like i said this is my life if i want to talk about it i can talk about it and i feel like i can talk about it right now because everybody good we all we're all in a good space i ain't gonna say we all but me and my baby dad in a good space so and i'm not speaking bad on anyone or down talking anyone I'm just saying what it is and what it ain't and what it'll never be and what it's going to be and what it is. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave some green hearts down below for me. And also leave some uh, video suggestions down below of videos that y'all want me to do. Because I really don't be knowing what to post and what to record for y'all because I really don't do nothing but go to school. So, I don't know, like, I'm going to try to post more vlogs and stuff. But y'all be begging me to post, and then when I post, y'all don't even be watching my videos. So, what's that about? But, yes, I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'll see you on my next video.